All right, this is going to show you how to take some old worksheets or quizzes or anything that's um, multiple choice and turn it into a Schoology quiz that can be graded immediately and without any effort. So let's say you have your old quiz here for the purposes of this. This is my high set language arts test that I found on the internet. Um, it's multiple choice, so that's all we need. The problem with this is that it's a PDF, and Schoology doesn't do great with PDF. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, export it and turn it into a JPEG, turn it into a picture file. If you have a Mac, it's super easy. You open it with Preview and go to Export, and then uh, JPEG is the file format you want to choose. But you can also find online lots of easy PDF to JPEG um, web pages that will do it for you. Just Google it. Um, all right, so let's say I've turned this into my JPEG, and now I want to create a quiz. I go to Add Materials, Add Test Quiz. I need to give it a name, Fake Test. And they make you put a category, so I'll put Ungraded. So I've created a test, and the first thing I want to do is add a question. And I'm not actually going to add a question. I'm going to add a text. I'm going to add an image of the test that I already have. So I'm not going to type anything here. I'm just going to go up to Insert Content, click on Image Media, attach a file, and where is my, there's my fake test. Okay, so there's my fake test. It shows up any second now. Here it is. Oh, it is, it's there already. Uh, you can sort of see it here. I'm just going to create text, and there it is. There's the quiz. Now, this isn't interactive. This is just a quiz. Uh, I'm sorry, just like an image of the quiz. So now we need to add the questions. And to do this, you need to know what the answers are to all these. So question one, um, the answer is, let's say, C. So add question. This one we're going to do multiple choice. So sometimes I just like to put question one just so they students can keep their bearings once if they're not used to this sort of format of test. Choice one, it, you're going to leave blank. Um, but you can't leave it totally blank, or Schoology will say, you can't leave it totally blank. So you need to put one space for each answer, like so. And we know the answer is C, so we click Correct Answer C, and you are done. Create question. Now, here's what it's going to look like when a student takes the test. Let's, you're going to have to do this, obviously, for all the questions. Um, but when a student does it, they'll see uh, the questions here. And there's no way to click on it. But down below, there is. So if they click C and click Submit, then they'll get it right. Um, sometimes I like to put at the top a certain general verbiage about, like, click the answer to the right, click the right answer uh, below the text, or some sort of, like, explanatory note that explains what they're looking at and what they're seeing. But once they see this once or twice and get used to it, um, it's pretty intuitive. And then they get their answers right away. You don't have to do any grading. Win-win.